Yesterday I ran. Today I am a warrior. Chapter 14 Get out of your head. Life is not always just about going to church. I am the church of God. You and we are the church. It's okay to vacation and do something else without religious guilt. I have always been a mountain climber. My husband and I used to climb to mountaintops, hike through canyons, have lunch down by the river, explore and cut gems and rocks. For years, even while dating, he knew I loved nature and trees. He moved my beautiful, discovered baby Huey dinosaur egg rocks from house to house. We finally laid them to rest after years of not hatching at our home in Baldwin Hills. I too have my dragon eggs for you Game of Thrones fans. I shared my zipline experience because it was the real me. Not a spiritual insight for you to follow. I wasn't going to get brave or have some religious experience. Even though I do always try to learn from my experiences. The good and the bad. I did, however, sense some revelations with the stepping off of five ledges into the air. Each time was less difficult for me. Flying in the air was beautiful and a pure adrenaline rush. I did realize a higher degree of this. No matter how many people surround you, in many critical matters, you are truly physically alone in your decisions. When you step out, did you listen to your trainer? And do you remember the instructions you received? My hands were sweating profusely because I knew I could not hold myself up with my natural ability. So the guide said, remember, that is not what's going to hold you up. The unseen God and supernatural powers we know are always present. I am referring to those specific moments where we had to trust that once we stepped out without our legs under us, we had a harness seat. In order to move forward, gravity will make you plummet just a bit. Then your balance takes over and you remember that someone is at the other end ready to catch your full speed approach. Once off the edge, I did sit back. I looked around to see everything and I enjoyed the view. I don't wish to live with the shoulda, coulda, woulda thoughts. Life is what you make it. You are your worst enemy. I lived for 35 years in Los Angeles with access to the beaches. And all of those years, at least 30, I worked in beach cities. Did I go to the beach? Rarely. When I moved back to Central California, all I could dream about was getting to a beach. Never again. Stop waiting for trauma and death. It is surely coming if the Lord delays his return. As the saints of old greeted one another in love, Maranatha means 
our Lord cometh. The guy kept saying, get out of your head. Truly the fear is predominantly all in your mind. Yesterday I ran, today I am a warrior. Chapter 14, get out of your head. Beats by King, Flash Flood by King.